Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. It's your turn to read. It's a, uh, it's a busy, it's a busy morning already, and we're gonna have uh, a little. We have a driveway visitor mm-hmm. to share a coffee with, and you're going for a walk. What was your highlight about yesterday? I'm just asking you because I know what mine is. Oh, uh, my highlight of yesterday. Mm, mm, <laughs> Chatty Jordan. Jordan for a car ride and he got all chatty. He got all chatty. A 23 year old chatty mm-hmm. boy. Mm-hmm. My highlight was having Lone Star for mm-hmm. dinner. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. which reminds me, what's for dinner tonight? Oh my goodness, uh, we didn't take anything out. After it's this, overwhelming. After this, go trying to figure out. out what to eat every day. Uh, okay, ooh, angry at family members. I don't feel like this applies to us. No. <laughs> well. We're over it. Yeah. Or unless, yeah. Anyway. All right. April we, the 28th. Wait, we didn't make up? I thought we made up. Mm, <laughs> April the 28th. Many of us have anger towards certain members of our family. Some of us have much anger and rage. Anger that seems to go on year after year. For many of us, anger was the only way to break an unhealthy bondage. Or connection, or connection between a family member and ourselves. It was the force that kept us from being held captive, mentally, emotionally, and sometimes spiritually, by certain family members. It is important to allow ourselves to feel, to accept our anger toward family members without casting guilt or shame on ourselves. It is important to examine our guilty feelings concerning family members as anger and guilt are often intertwined. Mm. We can accept, even thank, our anger for protecting us. But we can also set another goal, taking our freedom. Once we do, we will not need our anger. Once we do, we can achieve forgiveness. Think loving thoughts. Think healing thoughts towards family members. But let ourselves be as angry as we need to be. At some point, strive to be done with anger, but we need to be gentle with ourselves if the feelings surface from time to time. Thank God for the feelings, feel them, release them. Ask God to bless and care for our families. Ask God to help us take freedom and take care of ourselves. Let the golden light of healing shine upon all we love and upon all with whom we feel anger. Let the golden light of healing shine on us. Trust that healing is taking place now. Prayer for today. Mm. Help me accept the potent emotions I may feel towards family members. Help me be grateful for the lessons they are teaching me. I accept the golden light of healing that is now shining on me and my family. I thank God that healing does not always come in a neat, tidy package. Mm. Oh. Mm. That's that's cool. Mm-hmm. I, I I like the fact that she's identifying um, that anger is a protective mechanism. Yeah. Like uncontrolled anger protects us. Um, it's okay to feel anger. Anger is God given and okay to have and feel, but not be controlled by. Mm-hmm. So this is suggesting that that is a protective mechanism to uh, protect us from certain people or certain relationships, keep people at a distance. Um, But there is no forgiveness in uncontrolled anger. Mm -hmm. I think it's really hard to break patterns Mm. if you're closely enmeshed with someone and, you know, you realize like, oh man, we just keep going round and round and how do we get away from this? And sometimes I think she's right where anger is sometimes the only thing that we can hold on to that will help us break those really unhealthy patterns Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and give us some space and then um but like staying there is i think what eats us alive right we can't um we can't stay in that in that place and and i think i remember having a moment of like had i had a strained distant sort of relationship with someone that i wasn't really talking to but and it's not like I didn't really want to be talking to them, but, you know, I'm like, ugh, it's just hard. It was hard to have communication because it had been strained for so long. 
But then I remember saying, like, I actually don't want to be that person that is like, I don't talk to that person. Mm-hmm. I don't want to have that in my life. Mm-hmm. And so. And how, there's divides. Yeah. And people. so how do I get past that? And how do I. And, you know, I think there's a certain point where I was able to say, like, I'm a grown up and everything that happened in the past, like, it doesn't matter anymore. That's kind of. That's what I had to do for us, too. And I love how she puts, uh, we accept and even thank our anger for protecting us. But we have to put that aside in uh, our healthy lives, mm. in our recovery lives, and take freedom from it. Um, once we do, we can achieve forgiveness. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the part of recovery that we get to get to is really making amends. Mm. And sometimes making amends means that you didn't do anything to anybody. It's not even your fault, except your part is actually holding on to unforgiveness, holding on to anger, yeah. holding on to your perception of what happened. And so being able to release that. Yeah. And, and I, yeah, I think going into the mall and being able to see anybody that would come into your life that has come into your life and be able to say hi to them and not feel like, oh, I can't look at that person. I think that's a freedom. Yeah. That yeah. she's talking about. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. You know, you can think of those people that like if they contacted you or if you saw them. Or they texted you, you're like, you'd freeze or your heart would drop. And that's not a great way to be living. That doesn't, that's not living in freedom. Mm -hmm. No. And I love the fact that she uses the golden light. The golden light. That's the part I like the least. Oh, really? It's like, that that just reminds me of the light of God. The light of, the light of a supernatural power that heals us, that lights us, that illuminates us. That's available for all of us. Well, and forgiveness really is, and moving on, can often be a super, it has to be a supernatural thing. Like, that's not something we can yeah. do in our own strength. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think there's lots of times that I realized that I had every right to be angry. Sure, I have a right to be angry, but now I actually have, like, the right to, like, release that mm-hmm. and to mm-hmm. live a full, happy life. And it's life. a lot easier to forgive than to be angry. And to have space being uh, taken up. We only have so much capacity. And when we fill it with resentment or anger, then that's, we get, we get uneasiness. We get, um, we're not satisfied. Mm -hmm. Our joy is gone. Our peace is gone. And we're just refeeling over and over and over. And we only have so much capacity to feel. And if that's what's taking it up, then that's not freedom. And I loved one time you were talking about something and you said that um, there was a situation that had happened that you couldn't reconcile. It was so frustrating to you and a person had said something and you were so hurt and angry and frustrated and it was like consuming your thoughts. And I remember you saying, the only way I could reconcile this was to say, I cannot afford to have any resentments towards this person. It's not about them. It's just about me. I cannot afford this. I Mm -hmm. can't live like this. And so... You just said, God, I let it go, and I'm going to give them to you, and then I don't And that know. sounds so fake, but there are some of us um, from the addiction recovery world that we cannot afford resentment. I just can't afford it because it's going to bring me back to drinking. I, I can resonate with that, though, because I'm an overthinker, and so I will be consumed for three days repeating a conversation. And it brings up anxiety. Did I hear that wrong? Like, And I will replay it and replay it and replay it. And within a couple of days, not only have I replayed that conversation, but now I've gone back and I've replayed our last mm. 10 interactions. And so now the little thing that you said that maybe you didn't even mean it to sound the way that I heard it has grown legs and horns and a tail and I've made this like massive monster yeah. out of this little thing that has been said because I've been replaying it and in my And we're head. asked to die of self, I can't afford not that. kill everybody around us. Yeah, I can't afford that. That comes out of me. Yeah. That comes out of me whether I realize it or not. It, I leak all over the place when that's happening to me. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. Golden light. We just need the golden the light. The golden light. So, uh, we are children of light. We are children of the creator. We are salt and light to the world around us. And we get that not on our own effort, not on our own strength, but the power of God. We come powerless looking for power. Mm-hmm. And so we have the golden light. We have the light of the Holy Spirit to connect with our spirit and to give us power 
that we never had to give us mm-hmm. hope and joy and all those things that come from God as we are empty of self. We, we're not like emptying ourselves with nothing, but we're actually dying of self. It's not like I want to keep me and just empty all my bad things mm-hmm. and hopefully something comes to fill it up. But it's actually this death of me, this death of my belief systems, the death of all the things that I thought were super value to me, uh, my, my striving, my proving, my, my position in, in life and my job. And it's like, actually, Jesus is asking to die of those things so out of your death can come my resurrection and my golden light. So God, we just pray right now for every person who is suffering and who is um, tormented and maybe doesn't even realize like how much anger has a hold in their life. And so I just pray right now that you would just help them to um, to release um, those mm. things that they're angry at and give them to you and let you be in charge and uh, let you um, heal and begin the work of healing. I just pray that they would begin to see that there's a different way, that the cycles and the patterns and the, the ways that they've been living aren't the only way, but that there is a way that brings freedom, that brings hope and brings life. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Have a great day. Have a great 24, and we will hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye.